Hello everyone, welcome back once again to this new tarot reading. Um, today I'm going to continue with uh, 21 um, members. I was requested to do CLs. So let's uh, talk a bit about her energy. She's definitely very impressive in the sense that her personality is very prominent and she was born basically to be a star. Um, she is a Pisces uh, with a moon in Leo. Um, she, her Venus is also in Aries and her Mars is in Gemini. So she is a different kind of Pisces. You may think that, you know, Pisces energy, especially female, they tend to be really understanding and then tend to be really empathic and really like... Uh, like very willing to help others and very wise and very open and very dreamy, very and idealistic, you know, uh, someone that sacrifices for others, someone that probably is in, in a profession where they can uh, assist others and help others and uh, and, and they are very dreamy. Well, in, in CL's case, it's not. I don't think it's that her true essence is that. I think that her true essence is to be a star. Her true essence is to be able to use the power of her words uh, and her passion to communicate and her passion to be in the center of attention. Um that moon in Leo definitely speaks to me really louder. I cannot help uh, to see it. I think that the first thing, I think I saw her a few times and in the moments that I saw a uh, few images of her, she gave me this very Leo vibe. I really thought she was a Leo sun. Um, but then I realized that she was a Pisces and I was really shook because I was like, oh my God, all that energy and all that charisma and all that like a strong power. Um, I know that, uh, of course, to be a female rapper, you have to have some kind of attitude. You have to be really sharp. You have to be confident in yourself. You have to be uh, very, um, you have to own the stage because basically it's like you're, battling everyone with your words and with your presence and with your with your mannerisms so i was thinking oh is she a pisces oh a pisces rapper so i was thinking that um um there's this is why uh, astrology for me is so fascinating because it, it allows you to see beyond and to see the other energies that lays within a person for example bts jungi is also a pisces but his moon is in virgo so definitely he was born to write lyrics and to these people in his lyrics and to be really sharp and really good with words and also be very witty and be very intelligent and almost to do like that uh, uh karate with or that kickboxing with his language and his ability to rap so i see the same for for um for cl it's like despite of her being really good uh with rapping she also has this stage presence this moon in leo of hers in and also this venus in aries makes her a very passionate person very passionate very fiery so she must have quite a temper to be honest, I, I, I'm not saying she's aggressive, uh, but she must have those uh, moments where she could get upset over things uh, or she could be a bit prideful. But uh, nevertheless, she, she just let go, lets go of things really easily. It's not that fire signs, they don't, they don't tend to actually stay if they get upset for something they just like explode and then they move on they don't deal that much on on the sentiment of anger or resentment they just don't do that they just express they let the the fire out they let the fire release and then and then they just move on to the next thing uh so it makes sense that she's a, that she is has this star 
quality to her. Um, I don't I don't know much about the other members. I know that uh, I have done a reading for Sandara for Sandara Park, and her energy was also very interesting. But in the sense of CL, there's something about her that just makes her really stand out. Actually, uh, when I first started to listen to K-pop uh, music and I saw her, I initially thought that she was like a soloist, like she was a rapper. I didn't know that she came from a group. Um, so um, it's like she was born to be in the spotlight she, and she's really good at... Um, uh, delivering music herself like her image is so uh, strong and it's so so intimidating that and it's so powerful that you just cannot take your eyes away from her she has a lot of charisma and a lot of attitude also um and it it makes sense because i know that uh she had made some appearances with g dragon and um, this makes a lot of sense. I believe that there's a huge possibility that they could be friends and they probably could be friends for life because I always talk about this correspondency and this reciprocity between a sun person and a moon person, for example. In the case of CL, she has her moon is in Leo and gd is a leo sun so there's like a correspondency there there's like an initial connection there's a potential for the connection for them to actually resonate with each other's energy especially in the case of cl i think that probably cl has this uh since she is the moon in leo she could have this attraction or she could feel really good about herself, really nurtured, really at home when she is surrounded by Leo people or by people that have a, a fire signs uh, placements uh, such as uh, Aries or, or Sagittarius. But I understand why she makes, she could make a really good relationship, a really good connection, a genuine connection uh, with G-Dragon. And I believe that probably when it comes to them working together, they can be like really a powerful du duo because of this correspondency. It's like they see, they mirror each other. They see each other's energy in each other. So I think that is it's good for, for CL in the sense that because the Leo energy is in her moon, you know the moon like i always say is a very is a very important placement in, in someone's personality because it's how you feel inside but it's not something that everyone has access to see or to witness that uh that um that energy to take action but in the case of a moon in leo probably when they when they uh, develop a career uh, in the spotlight or somehow they end up in the center of attention they are uh they are using they are promoting that moon in leo uh, and and that's their purpose they need to do that they need to expose themselves they need to show themselves sometimes a moon in leo struggles a lot with insecurity they they could have the potential to be really good entertainers, but somehow some it depends on the other's energy in their peer charts and they tend to be uh, a bit shy or a bit like not secure about their own skills. And then when they are on a stage or when they are in the spotlight, it's like their energy just lights up and they start to show these Leo traits that are very powerful and dominating so let's go with the archetypes card that came out for cl she got the archetype of mother athlete and martyr so yes there's an aspect of her that she definitely loves to take takes care of others it's like um there's something very uh abundant about her there's something about like um she really cares for her people and she probably could be really protective of them you know like like uh, um like a lion you know like lioness like being like protective of your of your children of your 
uh, of your tribe, you know, being really like, really like protect you with their body, with their, with their presence. It's like, um, she is actually very brave. She has a lot of, um, um, she has a, a lot of strength within herself, so she could overcome anything. But at the same time, she wants to stand up for others that probably don't have that confidence or don't realize yet that they have a power inside of themselves. Um, so she could be definitely a very protective mother, or she could be like a role model like very motherly when it comes to her loved ones um and she could be really nurturing um i think that maybe she she probably is not that expressive or emotional but she's someone that if you need her she will be there she will be there in first row to she will be there in seconds it's like she has a lot of devotion for her people and for the people that she cares about um and for her close and intimate circle um and i have the feeling this very protective energy of her here with the athlete it means that she knows she knows how to use her body strengths probably she's very strong physically and at the same time there's something about her and about the way her her body moves that she's very competitive it's like you cannot joke around with her she's really competitive and she's really going to fight you <laughs> if you if you attack her loved ones or if you somehow refer to her family in an offensive way or if he feels offended um she you know uh, pisces people they tend to not like violence but her with all this fire energy um she probably wouldn't be the one to go straight and punch you in the face but she could probably use it for example since she is an artist and rapping is her skill she could potentially write lyrics about you or she could like uh like mention something in 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 a lyric of a song or to make some reference so you know that she knows that uh that that you are talking bad about her it's like there's she and she's going to make it public because the moon and leo they love attention so definitely she's not going to be shy about it if she has a problem with you she's not going to hide and be like in the shadows working no she's going to go in in, in under the spotlight under the flashing lights and she's going to diss you um and then here with the martyr card this this talks a bit about yes maybe a side of her of being maybe maybe a bit prideful in maybe the downside of this martyr is the sense of feeling like everyone is after her you know of feeling like a victim sometimes or or maybe i think that there's something about her that uh, probably this has to do with her son in pisces that it means uh, that she definitely uh, fight for others or maybe sometimes she goes out of her way to help others or to try to use her power to be uh, to help others or to be a good influence for others so maybe sometimes she doesn't feel like that gesture of her is appreciated or that somehow the the amount of the amount of uh um of action or or the amount of gestures and 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 maybe the way she helps you or the way she sometimes wants to be there for you maybe she finds that when she needs that from someone suddenly she's left alone so there's a feeling of feeling non-appreciated so then she goes into this martyr kind of mode to be like oh wow like i care for for me people like i try to make things for them i try to be there for them but when i need them no one is around so probably she beats herself up a little bit because somehow she is she, she takes on this on this role of being almost like a leader maybe she has like this a strong attitude so sometimes people probably think that she 
is well on her own, that she doesn't need anything, that she's strong enough, that she can handle things on her own. Maybe she sometimes gives that image to people and and maybe they don't realize that actually she's very sensitive and that's that yes she does need uh, other people to care for her and other people to to be like uh, affectionate and to be uh, generous with her as well you know because this is what happens with the moon in leo moon in leo they are really good when they are expressing themselves in the spotlight and they tend to have this image of being really powerful or being really independent or being really strong but actually this is a part of their personalities it's not like the inner core of their personalities they have other aspects they have other needs so probably she could look independent and strong but at the same time she's still a very sensitive person that needs someone to look up after her so um, maybe she doesn't like verbalize it. She doesn't put it into words because she, she, she. There's a bit of pride also in her because it's like she expects other people to somehow be intuitive enough and and like sort of guess that she needs something from them, uh, and this can create a, a a bit of confusion in relationships um, because she's not being. A, outspoken about it it's like she's like oh i'm fine i don't need anything but actually she does so she needs to work on this get out of this martyr um kind of uh, archetype and actually being very open about what she needs so that the other so that people around her can realize that actually yes she's very sensitive and she has her vulnerability also and that she needs other people to be there for her as well so let's go with the tarot cards that came out for her. She got the Sun, the Death card, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Eight of Cups, the Hermit, the Four of Pentacles, the Devil, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So definitely she will be going through a lot of transformation. Um... But I believe that in probably in these six months, uh, she will be experiencing a lot of transformation. But I think that the transformation is going to happen around her more than to her because I see her actually like being in a place of feeling really good about herself. You know, the sun card is, is, is the first one that came out. So she's definitely feeling really um, optimistic about herself she definitely is connecting with her desires with what she wants to do she's feeling really creative she's feeling really expansive there are a lot of opportunities for her she's surrounded by people that makes her feel good but somehow around her a lot of old structures are falling down a lot of uh, um, old traditions are being destroyed and time is moving and things are changing so somehow these transformation moments these transformative moments are influencing her in in a bit it's like it's not happening happening directly to her but since she is a pisces she can sense it she can in she can she, her intuition can let her know that things are changing around her that a lot of things that she used to know are actually falling are actually falling apart probably businesses probably um copper um like um corporations uh, um business partners uh people like having disagreements and actually like um like distancing themselves or breaking their their partnership probably also people that were married like actually divorcing you know she's she's like seeing a lot of a lot of um structures being destroyed and it's it's something that somehow she thinks that that is natural that is happening and actually that it, it was about time that is happening um 
and she's not feeling sad nor threatened by it. She's just feeling like it's part of life and that eventually this had to happen. So here with the Eight of Cups, the Hermit and the Four of Pentacles, um, I have the feeling that if there's with all this destruction and with all this uh, um, rebuilding or this like starting from zero or starting starting from scratch or maybe like uh, starting new relationships or thinking of new ways to start over or to maybe reconnect with all with all uh, relationships. She will definitely need a, a time out, a time to be on herself, to be by herself in order to find some kind of a stability for herself. Um, because there's a part of her that actually is a bit stuck. It's like uh, probably it's because she feels uh, a bit sorry for people that are actually going through tough times adapting to these changes so she, she it's like she wants to be there for them but at the same time she's also worried about herself so this is like an inner struggle for example i don't know like i mentioned before if she for example uh, she's friends with a couple that they are like they had been married for a lot of years and all of a sudden they decide to divorce so it's like, yes, both of them no longer want to see each other's faces, but somehow she's friends, she's connected to the two parts of the situation. So it's like she doesn't know, uh, she doesn't know how to, um, how to adjust herself to this new reality of this connection, because it's like, okay, both parts hate each other. So how does she, what does she do in order to maintain both parts? Uh, to being okay with the two parts, you know, without them getting upset because she's talking to the other part. You know, it's, it's like, it's about loyalty. And actually she is very loyal, but she's loyal to everyone. It's like she has no favorites, so to say. She's nice to people that was nice to her. So it's like, um, if she, if you are upset to someone and you are her friend, Yes, she can understand that you are upset at that, at that person. But if she likes that person initially, she's not going to be influenced by your sudden change of feelings for that person. She's very loyal, actually. So you cannot go and actually try to talk bad about certain persons that she care about because she will definitely like like put you in your place. Um, so this is why I think that she doesn't want to get... Uh, she she feels stressed in the sense that she wants to be there for everyone and she wants to listen to everyone and be empathic to everyone's uh, new reality. But at the same time, she needs a break. She needs because she it's like she cannot break herself into different uh, pieces, you know, to be there for everyone. So somehow she will reclude. And she will maintain from 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 the drama and from probably she will try to not comment nor uh, just respecting other people's uh, options and other people's decisions. Here with the devil and the ten of cups, I think that also this time out is going to help her to actually see things the way they are. I think that also. Like uh, it's the same that I I have I I have seen when I did I did Sandara's uh, reading that somehow she in this industry she had met people that weren't very ethical or probably people that were very toxic or were very manipulative so somehow she's cleaning her energy from that from these people and like she's also waiting for karma to hit these people um and i think that she will feel really relief and she will feel really happy when she hears some news that this person these people are actually getting what they deserve so it's like she's waiting for karma as well so probably some news or some legal issue is going to come to these people and she's going to be really happy about it because it's like maybe she had an issue with that person and it's like she he, she tried so hard and she waited for so long to things to finally 
the wheel turn in her favor or maybe to actually other people to see what these people really was about. So now she's like seeing karma happening. And I think that she will be really excited. And also she will like cut uh, connections and she will cut bonds with people that actually are not really good for her. So she will like... Um, she will distance herself from these old connections that actually didn't do anything good for her. So she will find some kind of liberation emotionally too. And I think that uh, she also will be working a lot. So there's like a new, probably she will be inspired to maybe release something new or maybe release like a new content. And actually this is going to be really successful for her. Um, this is going to be, she's definitely very hardworking. She is, is, and she's also very passionate. So she definitely puts all her intentions in the work. So we will, we will see before this year ends, we'll probably see uh, new content from her, coming from her. But definitely she needs to take a time out from all these uh, transformation that are happening around her with people that she cares about or people that she knows. So I'm going to leave it guys here. I hope that you enjoyed it and I would appreciate your feedback if you are a fan of CL. So thank you so much for being here as always. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.